G'day everyone, my name is Zach, and welcome back to Printed. This week we're going to be deep diving into the Warriors of Chaos army, and starting off by painting a couple of Chaos Warriors. I'm going to be showing you how I quickly and effectively painted these guys in I think roughly about 10 to 15 minutes per model. It was super super simple to do, and honestly I'm really happy with how they turned out. So let's jump straight into it. Now when it came to assembling these models, there was a little bit of prep work I had to do before we could just jump straight into the painting. I first started by just grabbing every single bit that I needed, and as you can see already, there are some massive mold lines on these. And um, this guy was actually on a 25mm square base, I just started by cutting him off, and then scraping up his cape so we could start by assembling him. Now we don't want to glue primer to plastic, we want to glue plastic to plastic, so first thing I do is come through with my scraper and take all the top paint off. Next up, I grabbed some sprue goo and just started slapping it all over the area that we're going to join. And usually what I do after is I'll come through with some just regular old plastic glue and just put a little bit on because I tend to find that my sprue goo is very, very thick. So all we've got to do is just gently hold those two pieces together. And if you can't tell already, there is a massive gap between the uh, shoulder pads there, which we'll come past and fix up later. I did come in and quickly remove a couple of the sprue gates that were around and just taking my knife I gently and carefully took off any mold lines which I will admit I'm loving the new uh, Warhammer kits because they come with so little mold lines it's amazing. Next up just as usual we're scraping the base to get a little bit of extra adhesion and I usually go around this and do a couple of different passes just so there's a lot of texture there to hold on to. Now just with me El Cheapo Super Glue I dab a bunch on and just gently hold them on the place. One thing I love about the Chaos Warriors is the fact that they just stand up on their own and it's super super easy to uh, paint them up. As you can see he's all ready to go and I have left his shield as a sub-assembly just to make the uh, priming much easier. Now using some Vallejo Thick Mud I just smack this all around the base just to cover everything really nicely. It doesn't really matter if you get this on the feet it's just going to kind of tie the model into the base a little bit nicer and uh, using my thumb I just cleaned up the edges there that did get a little bit of extra spillage. Now when it comes to priming, as always I'm using my SNS Surfacer Black. You can use a rattle can for this, but I just prefer doing this with an airbrush if I'm doing one model. Um, if I was army painting, I would use a rattle can as it's so much quicker than using the airbrush. Now we're going to establish all our base coats with some Mephist in red. And instead of shading the entire area, I'm just going to time lapse through this. Basically what I do is, when I'm painting all these areas, you can notice on this one here, I specifically leave the recesses in that black colour. This is just going to save me time later on, I don't really have to come back and shade the panels. Now when painting I do make sure to move my brush strokes up toward the highest highlight of the uh, model. This leaves the most amount of pigment and creates kind of a very subtle little gradient in the model. Um, a good example is on the shields, as you can see I'm kind of just gently going on it and I drag that pigment up. Now this first layer was semi-transparent, so I came back in and focused on roughly about the top 50% of each panel. And as you can see already, we've done some really quick and easy highlighting. And this is going to save us so much time later down on the track. Because I hate coming back and having to layer over everything. I just feel like it's an absolute pain. So I take these sort of steps to really increase my speed. Now we're going to do a really cheaty uh, non-metallic metal with some blue ink paint. You can use contrast and a black ink or I use black legion in this case. Now just mixing them roughly one to one with our uh, Vallejo Silver. Now starting with our darker silver, I'm just going to go in and start putting this on all the areas that will be in the shadows. Now a good example is in the middle of his chainmail and at the top of this sword here. So I just do sort of a non-metallic metal type where we just do the opposite lines. And as you can see here, going on the top there and then just doing an equal part down the bottom here as well. Next up you want to grab your blue silver and while it's semi dry, you just want to gently blend that in. And as you can see, it gives us a very, very nice gradient. And just adds a little bit of interest to the uh, the metals there. I did have a little bit too much on this one, and as you can see, it's it's blended quite a lot in. But I don't mind it. For a, a very quick and easy uh, effect, it's um, very simple to do. As you can see, we're just using the blue here, just to put it on all the highlight areas and just add a bit of interest there. Using some German Black Brown, as well as some Burnt Umber, we're going to come in and start doing all the furs. So to start, we're just going to start with our lightest color here. You could use a color like Mornfang Brown if you prefer a richer, more vibrant fur. 
And long story short, I'm just going to smack this towards the upper areas of this. And we're going to come back later and just do a little bit of a wet blend with that German black brown. It's a very easy and quick effect and just really makes the fur pop. And now as you can see, just coming back in with that German black brown and it mixes so easily, creating a very, very nice transition. So if you really wanted to take this one step further, you could actually come in with a wash and then dry brush and even lighter color. But um, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Now, just using that German black brown, I'm going to avoid all the recesses and slowly paint up both the boots and the gloves. And then coming back in with that burnt umber, I'm just going to gently highlight the upper areas while this is still slightly wet, just to create that nice little transition in those uh, two colors. Now, I did also grab some burnt umber and just chucked it on the uh, skull here. Now, using some Retributor armor, very, very simple. We're just going to go around and pick out any areas that we want to be gold. Uh, I mostly keep this towards things like the uh, Chaos Emblem on the shield here and anything like the uh, hilt on the sword, which we're about to see. So gently highlighting that up. Uh, again, if you want to go a little bit further with this, you could put a wash on this. But I have 50 of these guys to paint, so I want to do it in the fastest and nicest way possible. As for the capes, I'm just going to do a similar process to what we did on the armor. So just gently dragging all the paint up to the uh, highlights and being really, really thin with that. We don't want to I have a layer that's too thick because we can always come back later with the second coat. Now I did quickly shade the metallic areas down with a little bit of uh, German black brown. Now finally we're just going to make some nice and easy snow using a bit of PVA glue and some bicarb soda. You're aiming for the consistency of roughly thick chunky cake batter and uh, the more PVA glue that you add the thinner it will be and uh, I did also make sure to chuck a little bit of this on the model itself just to tie it in and with that this is what we were left with. I know this video was a little bit shorter than usual, but um, I had too much fun painting these guys and really wanted to get a few out. So I wanted to keep this scheme very nice and simple because we are going to be painting 50 of these in the end of the day. So I'm keen to see how that looks. Now, this is the rest of the guys that I painted up with this one, and I'm really happy with how they look. Individually, they're not amazing, but when you've got them in a massive regiment, they just really bring each other around and yeah, just really pulp. So ladies and gentlemen, if you did indeed enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on it. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the community. It's wonderful seeing so many friendly new faces around here. And you can definitely expect more old world content in the future. I have uh, 3,000 and a bit points of chaos to pay. So uh, yeah, we'll definitely be coming back to this. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. And until next time, happy hobbying. Bye.